and welcome to a, another ENM video. So today I am trying a game which I have been on a few times before called Creative Verse. It's a, my first PC game and I am here with Jay Meister. You can say hello just to prove I'm not talking to myself. Jamie! Uh, like a robot. What are you getting here is... Uh, d d like that. Well, at least I know, at least the viewers know that I'm not crazy. Anyway, so, this is Creative Earth, so I'm going to show you around it, and then I'm going to be showing you what I've built so far. First, I'm going to get my daily chest. These are always filled with lots of useful stuff, because in here, this game is a bit like Minecraft, only better, because the characters are 3D and the quality is better, but the... Huh? But it's but it still remains to be a a block building world, which is quite useful. Everybody you kind has of their own world. Them. And I'm just gonna head over to J Meister so that he can you know. show me what he's been trying to, what he's been up to lately. What? You know, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said I don't know if you can hear me or not, but you keep cutting out. Like I can't hear you. I know, you it's like the same robot. for you as well, but I'm just oh, I'm just talking my friend, I'm just talking my viewers through Creativeverse and what we're going to be up to. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, so long as you can still see me in the game, that's all that matters, and you can show me what you've been dying to show me ever since I got on Discord. Yeah, um, though I'm far away from what I'm going to show you, so it might take me a while, because I, I died and I'm trying to get my stuff back. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I don't died die. Really Do not away. die. If you die, you to. leave all your stuff where you are, and you end up going back to some, a place called your touchstone, which is like a safe spot and tag. But then it means you have to travel all the way back to the place that you died, and there are creatures that, in here that, that, that will kill you. That's what I'm doing. I'm just explaining oh, yeah. all that to uh, oh, okay. on my, on yeah, my yeah. video. <laughs> I've been really enjoying this game. It's actually very, very addictive. But dying is not fun. No, dying is very, very <laughs> annoying, as um, I actually did a previous video to this where I started building my ice palace, which is something I'm going to be showing you today, I'm going to be walking you through building it, um, which I've already started on it with uh, Jamie there, but um, Hi. I will post that anyway. Ooh. Okay, just to start off where These we are, piggies. we are currently in Jamester's world rather than mine. And he's just done a basic building thing okay. already. You know. He's focused more on gaining tools like processors to, to process things like stone and wood and rock. And stone and rock are the same thing, and also. So you can do stuff like that, come back to it, and it will have processed that into doing something, into changing it to something else. Food processor. Right, back. That can make food for you to consume. Forge is yeah. for metals in particular and stuff like that, and you can see he's been busy because he's got diamond, and that's a particular living art thing to craft. Hello! So this is what we look like. And you saw what I looked like as a character on the home screen. Lead the way! These are a couple of uh, creatures which we've tamed in our world. Some do attack you. But it's the ones at night time that are particularly difficult to handle. Hence why we have swords. Everything that you need in this world you can craft, but of course you've got to collect things to craft, you've got to do several things in order to make items like swords, and the more, this is more complicated it is, uh, Look what he's done so far. The, the longer the task. Wow. He's built his base down here. Wow, very nice. This is our friend Jared's place, and he's clearly made himself very much at home. All sorts of galactic stuff, but there's also quite Stone Age stuff as well. And he's clearly built these trees from beeswax, because you do not get trees with beeswax on them in such quantities. You can mine down underneath the earth. 
Uh, yeah, like, he's got a oh, farm out here farming. growing. <laughs> has been a busy bee. And... Horned melon plant. Mm, that's yeah, Jared's done. Ah, uh, I see he got frosty the snowman. Yes. I blotted the snowman, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can collect so many materials on here, you often have to create chests in order to put them in. So yeah, yeah he's got a teleport. This is a, a touchstone, level of, so... Of the mine. Ooh. If I interact with that, if I press the T button, you can see I've got one, jared has got one, and J-Meister has one. Mm -hmm. Oh, where are we off to now? Oh, he's made a secret little passage. Why on earth is this guy? Oh my god. Oh, it's beautiful. He's he's tunnelled all the way down in a mine, but he's made such a well red carpet event about it all. Beaming heck, I'm impressed. Wow. Ooh, so he's got one level here. Because you've got to go really far down to get to here. This this yeah. uh, mineral water over here is is magic. It's got healing properties because you do have health and stamina. And if I press shift, it helps me run and go faster. And if I sit in this water, to the, as you can see, magical beauty is glow. You'll see the red bar at the bottom starts to heal me, and I keep my sword out because particularly in here is where there will be lots of more powerful monsters which can get you at any time. But the main part about this in collecting things is using cell, mining cells, which are these gloves on the right here. You <laughs> just click, and it will literally suck it out of nowhere, like it's like it's air. Like sucking water up in sh with a straw. It's quite fun, actually. It's really, really satisfying. Where's he off to? Of course, getting out of mines are always sometimes a bit of a problem. Now we're going back up, are we? Where are we going? Oh, what's this? What's this? So he's, just, he's clearly made floors out of it. He's made buildings out of mining. Wow. I don't usually, I don't, you don't usually get somebody who's <laughs> that into mining. Jared must be some kind of dwarf. Careful here, because you might fall down into the... Ah, he has found the lava layer. That's something I have yet to find. I don't know whether I'll be able to collect that or not, though. Because you can, you can even collect lava down here. <laughs> it's very, very impressive. <laughs> You've got to be careful because... Oh, the lava. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Joe, there's not a lot. Heat. I don't really want to go down there because I don't think I'll be able to get back up from that point. That's but if I need lava at some point, I will go down there and get some. The controls do get a bit of take a bit of getting used to, but once you've got the hang of them, they're pretty easy. I love these lights; they're just so much fun. You can just turn on, turn them on and off. And over here is where we get out. Ooh, going a bit faster. So we might go <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez. Ah, I'm such a bad driver. <laughs> I right, see so that's the secret passageway he made. Maybe we get there, or we can just come straight up on it. Beautiful. So that's J Meister's yeah. world. We're just going to exit this world quickly. <laughs> Do forgive the game being a little bit slow. My computer's a little bit on the hot side. Um, we are going to head over to Mokro's world, who is another friend of mine online. Uh, this was kind of the communal space where I first came to Creativerse, and Oh my god, I just fell in love with this game! And <laughs> you can actually gain something called blueprints. 
I can actually show you how to get them up once the game loads because it takes to take its time. One, three, two, and now. Change now. Yay! Okay, Ooh. where am I? Now in here. I've been crafting a bit better because I have a gold sword. Let me just show you. So as you can see, this has definitely been a communal area because uh, Mocha has her house over there, which looks which looks much nicer on the inside. Uh, Mocha's sister also plays on here. She created a little galactic house over there. She bought that in a pack. You can buy materials on here, which makes it so much easier. Mother's clearly been doing some upgrades in here. Very nice indeed. Lots and lots of processes. She's put names on all her bits and bobs. So she knows what's in them. Which is very clever. Always close the doors behind you. Not only is it polite, it keeps the keeps the monsters at bay. So here is a not so uh, nicely neatly made mine. Mines are automatically crafted in the in the worlds, but um, Jared's gone on one step further and just sort of made his his own. Um, my friend Les, aka Yoshikara, created this little Deadpool themed house over there, which is a nice little neat place. And this beauty this was my house. This was where my house was. And I'm not quite sure what's happened to it. Maybe it's just taking a moment to load. Hmm. I'm very confused. Where's my real gun? If it somehow deleted itself, I'm going to be very, very annoyed because it took five days in order to complete. But I think that's probably just a glitch, and I can show you it another time. But up there, it used to be the most beautiful treehouse that I can create. It's absolutely glorious. And I'll just get it up so here you can see that there are um, here are all the bits and pieces that I've collected, like the bones, health potions I've crafted. I still have the blueprint I can show you. Okay. So, let's get rid of that. What you have to do in order to use it, you have to drag it down here, and left click, and it puts down a blueprint. And for this, So you can see how tall that actually goes. That goes a very, very long way up and it took me five days in order to make. As I'll, I'll probably show you in another video. I've actually got it in my previous video, so um, hopefully I should be able to get that back. Never experienced this before, truth be told. Anyway. But in my world, which we shall go to now, I have started building my very own ice palace. You can use a blueprint in order to help you put down the blocks much quicker, or you can choose to go on your own and build something of your own creation. I've started doing that. But truth be told, I wasn't sure how to go forward with it, so I'm on a break from that one. But the blueprint that I got is actually a castle in the sky, which is very awesome, which I'm going to start building, and you'll be able to see the progression of it now. There's my blueprint, and there is my building so far. It's a bit difficult to get up there at the moment, but it is 
so much fun to build. Oh, I'm always collecting mushrooms because they keep up the health. I can see what balls that you can eat. So with this, I've already got all the materials I need in order to build this because this thing had like 10,000 blocks and there was just no way I was going through all the effort of, of <laughs> doing that with the tree like I did with my tree house. Uh, because I collected all of them by hand, all the wood, all the leaves, all the... the ooh, and that is a creature that just dropped in front of me. And I crafted all the beautiful items that went with it. Even decorated it all fully in gold, which was really cool. And this is my lovely little world. And um, when you're actually building, a couple of tips and tricks if you do decide to check this game out. Is that when you're putting down blocks, which I shall show you. It said it will do it in groups like that, but it won't necessarily continue it. And sometimes um, you can see like a flat layer ahead of you and it will it will put them down. If I can just get down here, I can actually show you. No, don't drop down there. That would be a very, very bad idea. Okay. So as you can see, I just lost a bit of health because I jumped down there. Anyway. Get some snow in. Where's my snow? There are <laughs> thousands of gas lamps that I need to put down. All these glowing uh, shapes here show what I need to put down. And that shows what I've already put down there, so it'll be glowing gloriously from underneath, which is going to be so awesome! I'm just going to set that down there, and then there's my snow. There we go. So, if you do it like that, there we go. You see there, it's a, there was a block underneath that block just there. You'll sometimes miss random ones out just like that and you've got to go back and put them all in. So it will just do it in a complete and utter random order and sometimes I've noticed that blocks get stuck in between the layers because it just selects a group at random which means that for a really, really long time I had a pain in having to uh, suck back up all the blocks like that in order to build them, put them back in because the blueprint won't consider itself completed until all the blocks are in, every single one of them, so it meant having to climb through areas of the tree that uh, didn't allow me to climb through in order to put them back. But I could see where they were because the blueprint has that capability in order to see what blocks are missing, thankfully. So I'd like to just try and finish this entire floor and then light it up from underneath and it's going to look absolutely beautiful. You see it's, uh, it's put down the wood burning lamps there, but it hasn't put down the blocks that are underneath and around it. Lamp there, no ground, it's floating in midair. <laughs> you can see when it just feels all that, like that, you can see how it gets addictive because it's so satisfying. I don't know where Jamie's going off to, 
Predict about creative versus his unpredictability. Because I had no idea that was just going to hop up in front of me there. Okay, I need to get some more snow. Where's my Roxy from? Oh no! Shut him off. Heal up first. Oh, you need those drinks. Hats. Love a good hat. Fun day hat. Treating the snow keeps replenishing itself and instead of giving it more and more and more dough, it's just going to die. Very confusing. Okay. It's very disconcerting when you're standing there and looking down and there's nothing supporting you. Even though I know it's not even real, I kind of get a weird chill in the middle. Like the, um, but I dare say I do laugh at people who... Bridges, it's really funny to see the ocean. I don't. Oh, I'm really low on health. I better stop out there. Oh, I'm just drinking out of the sanctuary. There's there's Jane Monster's touchstone in my room. Let's go for the spoon when he enters it. Jay, can you still hear me? Hello? Jamie? He's ignoring me now. <laughs> That's what happens when you're creative as you enter the zone. Block out everything else and you just build. Build for your work. Oh, I have to get more snow. This is the 
page where you can craft items. So if you've got the right item to you, you can press craft. If you don't, like you're going to put some station, you've got a row farm wheat, which means you've got the plow, which means crafting plow, which also means harvesting water, and you get the piece of icon, with how one task can turn into many. Okay, let's go back to the end. I love that scene, it's so funny. I've just crafted a torch and I'm going to light that there. That way I can see what's going on. So I'm just going to plant with this bit of cactus there. She should, should plant any random in there. Because you do have a limit to the storage that you've got. Not in how many items you can have, but how many times. Like I said, it's one of my favourites. So this floor is nearly done. Some more snow. What kind of it on? Coming to find it. Yes. Okay. Mm. This this is more like more the underground the belly of the Gonna be locked from underneath. And then that the fact that it's nice and high up because when it's night time, the creatures won't be able to get up there. Makes living in this game so much easier. Probably gonna hope I don't enclose myself in this place that would be well I'd be able to get out. This game is uh, Creator Versus on PC. It's a free game and it's a really good quality game, but it doesn't run, you need to run on a really high processor. 
that it's a quite simple set. So anything. I think she only just left the chat. Sorry if I'm being quiet and just concentrating at the moment. Just making sure I don't miss any. It is, it's like a sea on the game. At least it's nice and cosy. Gas lamps. You've got your eyes to keep you nice and warm. So if you are planning on playing this game, I would advise that you upgrade your tools, like your sword and your mining self first, in order to help frame yourself off. So the gold that I currently have is an obsidian one, and the next one is blue. It allows you to, the more powerful it is, the more you can got more delicate things like water and harder stuff like rocks. having to go around putting the ink up in each and one of them. As you can see, that's quite a lot. Oh, you sneaky one. You sneaky little block. So you had me, didn't you? <laughs> oh, let me see. What is that doing in here? It's just a random building wood. Okay. When you die, you get this called a death statue, which lights a beacon, beacon into the sky, which helps you find your way back to it again. Which is very helpful. Just gonna drop some stuff here. I've got lots of doom chests, I haven't claimed yet. I can only claim them once in a specific world. Okay, ah, uh, it's getting dark now. As you can see out there, but I know it because you toggle the combat mode. Between salt. And mine's 
take it. Things are actually coming to pieces now. But as I was saying, you can get this uh, game on Steam. So it's on account, it's really easy to just set one up and then you can get this as a free game. And uh, I think the developers of Fortnite and DB Dead by Daylight can uh, keep their game because this has never caused me a single problem that no campers, no hungry killers, no hammer deaths. Very satisfying. <laughs> Just a random little punk. Oh no, I've got the axe lamps. But it's it a more. Can you imagine trying to run all over these? Bite the floor over like 20 times. You there? Why did you go 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 there? Why did you I really like the fact that you can, you can quit select or I can do that by pressing the number. Each and every one of those have a number of their own. One, two, three, four. Easy as that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I have a little bit of definition. I got that from the end of the house. I didn't really do Bottom. Oh, wow, well, I nearly really finished. And then I can take that back so I don't have any more.
last one. There we go. So they are all there and all beautifully lit up. Oh, Jamie's definitely left the chat now. I even put in the graphics for this guy. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those stars. Excuse me, I've been looking at the graphics. What happened there? Oh, sneeze, sneeze, sneeze. Let's pick a snow. Just down there. I love the little bit and there we have it. The first floor is done in all its glowing glory. Ah, there's still a long way to go with it, but I'll just show you in a minute. You can see how big this thing is considering how big the metal features seem out there. These are the areas I've explored. There's still so much more to explore. And this place is massive. Absolutely can't catch you in. I do have now I think before I go I'll leave this video it's awe inspiring awesomeness. Oh, thanks for jump. Okay. There we go. I don't really need that. There's still just full anyway. Could I go to the sofa? Oh. These are some of the daytime features. This is a leafy. I actually have them as a pet in both my world and Jane Austen's. And the fuzzy. Oh no, where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Oh, I need to go over here. Daytime again, that is perfect timing actually. Pigsies, oh, I absolutely love pigsies, they're so cute. Look, Jimmy, so cute. So cute. Hey, little pigsy. Hello. <laughs> see, with the daylight, it doesn't need to close, but it still glows. That will glow for as long as the torches are switched on. It doesn't, it doesn't wear down, the materials don't wear down or anything like that. Just the tools that you use, which means you have to really keep them crafting. This is the ice area. I've got some of my supplies. I also I bought a frost pump for the chairs. Lots of lovely um, really nice decorations in there. Which I intend on using on the house that I will actually. Where have I gone? Oh, I've gone too far. I've gone too far. This way. Do 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 do. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, here is my world. 
put it really far out in the water so that if anybody, if any of the animals try coming and swimming across, they won't. Because they can't swim. Put things like this fucking door and these sparkling sparklies are some of the decorations I've added. And I'm just in the process of making this floor. Now that it's fully finished, I should be the only lucky tour of this place. But not until I've finished my first place. That is going to be epic. I think I'm going to take my time in this one because of the tree house that I built. It did take me five days, but I was on it like 24 7. And I didn't realise I was addicted to it until gone to work the morning uh, at 5am and I came back and I was still gaming the night at 3am and I'm just thinking uh, I have a problem, I need a break. But I did get it finished and I'm really really proud of it. This too shall rise from the water. Beautiful big palace of my own design. But that's the real testament to creative us. You can follow a plan, or you can just go and do your own thing. It's entirely up to you. But I hope that you have enjoyed my little tour of this place. Hopefully the treehouse should be back when I next hop on. I hope you enjoyed this installment, and thank you for watching with me. So, thank you for watching. Leave a like, or share, or hug. I like either of, the, either of those three. And thank you for watching as always, guys. Peace out! Thank you.